Hello everyone, and welcome to the MATLAB and Stimulink Robotics Arena. This is Sebastian, and today we're going to run you through a toolbox that we submitted on the MATLAB Central File Exchange called the Mobile Robotics Simulation Toolbox. But we figured we'd do a quick video to help you get started. So first of all, I want to explain what you can do with this Mobile Robotics Simulation Toolbox. As you see in this figure, one of the things that you get is a two-dimensional visualization for mobile robots. So in this case, for instance, you can see a robot moving in some kind of trajectory, it's following waypoints. So some of the other things that are included with the toolbox are kinematic models of the robots. So if you have different you know, configurations of wheels, uh, whether you have you know, like a differential drive robot or a car-like robot, we provide a couple of models and we'll show you that in, in a second. But you can also do more elaborate environments for instance, you can create a map of the environment using an occupancy grid, and you can also simulate common sensors for robotics, like line of sight sensors, such as LIDARs or sonars, as well as uh, some basic simulation of vision-based object detectors. For example, in this figure, you see there's a couple of colored squares in the environment, and the robot has this uh, field of vision in front of it that you can configure, and you can see where these objects are relative to your robot and what kind of label or what kind of color they are. And all of this is documented in the toolbox, and I will show you how to get there. The other thing that I want to highlight before we go to the software is the fact that there are both MATLAB and Simulink interfaces for these tools. So let's take the example of this differential drive robot. Um, this is controllable by two wheels, so you have a left and a right wheel, and that allows a robot to move with a forward motion as well as a turning motion. In MATLAB, we provide a couple of classes to make this easier for you. So first of all, you can create the kinematic model of a robot. Here you see, for example, a differential drive class where you can pass in the properties such as the wheel radius or the wheel base or the distance between wheels. And from there, you can use this to perform your kinematic analysis or simulation. In addition, we talked about the visualization and the sensors. So uh, we also have, for example, a visualizer 2D object where you can display your robot and its sensor outputs. Um, and then here we're showing as an example the attaching of a LiDAR sensor to your environment. And from there on, once you've defined all of these things that pertain to your robotics problem, in particular the robot itself, the visualization and the sensors, you can then step through your simulation and, for example, given the position of a robot or the pose of a robot, figure out what it's seeing within its LiDAR sensor and then displaying that uh, that is the pose of the robot and the output of the LiDAR sensor on that visualizer. So don't worry if this code doesn't make sense. I will show you how to access the documentation and examples. On the Simulink side, it's similar, uh, except it's all done in a graphical block form. You get a block library that pops into your Simulink library browser. And from here, you can drag in blocks that perform the same functionality. So we have the kinematic model blocks, we have the environment blocks that do the visualization and the sensing. So what the MATLAB and Simulink interfaces do is they let you experiment with different types of algorithms. If you're more comfortable with you know, text-based programming and you want to stick to code, then there's the MATLAB world. Or if you want to use things that are more you know, controls-like, in, in like block diagrams, then you can use the Simulink blocks and connect to control blocks or state flow charts or other algorithms that are available in Simulink blocks. Now let's talk about setting up this toolbox. So if you go to the MATLAB Central File Exchange, you'll see this entry for the Mobile Robotics Simulation Toolbox. If you don't know where this is, uh, the link to this will be in the description below. This already contains a quick overview for how to get started, but since we're showing you in a video, uh, I'll show you really quick that if you click the download option, you can get this either as a zip file, so the raw files, or as a toolbox file. Uh, if you get this as a toolbox file, it's just easier to install it into MATLAB. So if you went the zip file approach, then all you need to do is extract the zip file to your favorite folder, and from here, there is a startup script called Start Mobile Robotics Simulation Toolbox, which you can run. Um, and you have to run this every time you start MATLAB. Alternatively, you could put this in your startup script as well, or permanently set the path to include all these folders. But if you install this with the toolbox, what you do is double-click this toolbox file, 
you get a pop-up asking you if you want to install. And then in a moment, you're going to see a pop-up that tells you that the toolbox was installed. So now it's part of your add-ons. From here, you can always go to the add-ons menu and hit manage add-ons. And you will see all the add-ons that you've installed. The latest one for me being the mobile robotic simulation toolbox. From here, what you can do is click the options menu or the three dots on the right and view the getting started guide. Another way to access the same getting started guide is actually to go to the documentation or the help. And if I scroll down all the way to the bottom right of our help browser, you'll see that the mobile robotic simulation toolbox is listed here as supplemental software. For example, you see here that I now have access to the getting started as well as some of the other uh, available documentation. So from the getting started guide, you can scroll down through the description in the system requirements, and we're going to focus on the actual documentation portion. You see here, uh, the first thing you have is a list of basically all the available functionality in the toolbox. You have the kinematic models, there's four right now, as well as the sensor and environment models. So let's click one of these as an example, uh, documentation. This will open up a live script. Uh, this live script will first contain some information about the model itself. So you get a diagram, you get the equations, the inputs and outputs. And then as you scroll down, you get actually executable sections for the MATLAB interface. So here you have the MATLAB code for your differential drive object, as well as how to do things like forward or inverse kinematics, as well as some reference examples that will be helpful as you try to implement your own simulations. And you get the same thing from Simulink. So here you have the, for example, the uh, a link to the block library and an example model showing some of the blocks that pertain to the differential drive geometry. And again, you get examples for the kinematics. And the same thing's available for things like the visualizers and the sensors. So if I open the robot visualizer documentation, you'll then see same thing. You get some um, initial figures showing how this all works. And as you scroll through, you have your section on the MATLAB usage, which contains more additional examples, as well as a section on the Simulink usage, uh, including a description of the actual dialogue for the block that you get. So feel free to look at these uh, as a starting point. Now, the other thing that's available in the Getting Started Guide, if you keep scrolling, is the actual example section. So in addition to the simple examples that will show you, you know, how to do the kinematics only or how to use the sensors only, we have examples that integrate everything together. For instance, we've picked some of the MATLAB and Simulink examples that perform integrated tasks. Um, one that I want to show you for the MATLAB side is the path planning and following of a differential drive robot. If I open this up, you'll see we can step through all this code by defining our differential drive vehicle, setting up some simulation parameters. In this case, it's going to be a discrete simulation. Then we can uh, use the robotic system toolbox to basically load in a sample environment and perform path planning from a start point to an end point. So you see, here's the path that is then generated by MATLAB. And as I keep going through this code, I can then similarly uh, create a controller to follow the path. Uh, create a visualizer, and then finally go through the simulation loop. So here now I get an animation of my vehicle following the path using this uh, visualizer. There are a couple examples I want to show you. Uh, the first one is this waypoint following with supervisory logic. So this will open up a Simulink model. And you see that in this model, I basically have some of the blocks from the block library, like the robot visualizer, the differential drive simulation and kinematics, but then it's also coupled with some example algorithms that show you how you could perform waypoint tracking. So this is a logic-based system that sequentially goes through waypoints uh, until you reach a goal. So again, I could hit the run button on this simulation and you should see a very similar set of output where you get your MATLAB figure and your robot following this path.
And another example that I want to highlight is the object tracking logic. There are several examples that we provide like this where they're not just autonomous examples, but they provide some interaction so that you can basically test out algorithms from your Simulink model. I'll show you what that means by running the model. I think it's easiest for this one. So when I get this visualization, you see your vehicle is now moving towards this red square. And at any point, I can go and manually move the red square. For example, I can increase its Y position, and the, the vehicle will follow it. Um, unless, of course, I take it out of the field of vision, which, let's see if I can do it. Okay, so now the robot, when it doesn't see the object, it starts scanning around. Uh, the other thing I can do with this object detector, by the way, is work with the different color labels. So right now, I'm telling this algorithm that the object is red, and I'm looking for a red object. If I change the object to, say, a blue object, then the robot's not able to, to find it, or it's not going to track it. So you see it's still spinning around until I decide that I want this robot to similarly look for the blue object. And then it should start following it again, like so. OK, um, so if again, for more information on the Simulink blocks, I would encourage you to look into the Simulink library browser. See that once you install this toolbox, you should get the mobile robotic simulation toolbox showing up here in the browser. And similarly, you've got your blocks for the environments, the kinematic models, and other utilities. And for any of these blocks, uh, let's take, for example, one of the um, kinematics blocks, like the triple omniwheel simulation, I can open it up, look at its dialog, and if I hit the help button, then it should take me to the same documentation live script that we provide. So hopefully this gives you an overview of all the resources that you have available. So to summarize things, the toolbox supports both MATLAB and Simulink workflows, and they're both going to be documented for any of the kinematics, visualization, or sensor models that we provide. Um, again, all of this will be available in the Getting Started Guide. Uh, you also have examples to look through, so please check these out. and. Most importantly, reach out to us if you have any comments. If you are unclear on any of these things, uh, if you see any bugs or any improvements that you'd like to be made, or I think the coolest one, if you end up using this toolbox for anything robotics related, uh, we would love to see it. To that point, this is how you can reach out to us. Uh, as always, you can email us at roboticsarena at mathworks.com or reach out to us on our Facebook group. And for Anything else, uh, make sure to check out the websites here. So thanks for watching, and good luck creating robotics algorithms.